Hi everyone, I'm Kat, welcome back. I'm a flight attendant, makeup artist, and perfume enthusiast. And I'm here for you today with a very special video. So um, one of my subscribers asked me to do a video on my favorites, and obviously I have too many because most of my perfumes are literally my favorite, but um, these, I decided to do a winter favorites, and I'm breaking it down into two segments because it would just be too long. So today we're gonna do segment one. Um, and these are just some of my favorites that I'd like to share with you. So um, the first one that I'd like to talk about is by Burberry, and this one is called My Burberry Black. And as you can see, I've made quite a dent in this one. She is well-loved. So this one was launched in 2016. It retails for about $84 on Sephora. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle, I believe. Yes, no, it's three ounces actually. So yeah, um, and our top notes, our jasmine, our heart notes, our peach and rose, and our base notes for this baby are amber and patchouli. Um, so I'm gonna spray it and then we're gonna talk more. Okay, so the projection, I love this one, I just can't, it's so pretty. This one is so beautiful, it smells classy, it smells elegant, it's like very expensive, like it's so pretty, I love this one. Um, so the projection is strong, I'm gonna say like a nine, and the longevity is also very good, also about a nine. Um, it's sophisticated, it's classy, um, it's a very dark, warm fragrance, so it's perfect for winter. I wear it in summer too, because I'm just extra like that, but um, basically the Fragrantica describes this as um, amber patchouli, fruity rose, woody, white floral, um, warm and spicy, powdery, earthy and sweet. And um, yeah, I think that's a pretty good description for this fragrance. But anyway, this one's beautiful. It smells extremely wonderful. Like when it mixes with your oils in your skin, it's just like, it's to die for. And it will still last even after you've showered and, and like washed it, like you'll still smell it on you. So um, this one's a beautiful option and I can't say enough. So again, this is my Burberry Burberry Black. So yes. Okay, and the second one that I wanna talk about is Well Loved also. I haven't worn this one in a minute, but it's perfect for this season, um, but I was wearing it a lot for a while. So this is Replica by The Fireplace. And as you can see, this one's also Well Loved. Um, so this one retails for $144 for 3.4 fluid ounces, and I purchased this at Sephora. So um, Replica is a really nice brand. They have a lot of really nice, unique fragrances that are all like nostalgic to different like, um, like there's like Jazz Club, that one I really, really like. They have some other really, like um, Autumn Walk, I think it's called. They have some other really, really nice ones. But anyway, this one's perfect. It's warm, it's spicy. This is unisex for sure. Um, the top notes are cloves, pink pepper, and orange blossom. Our heart notes are chestnut, guayac wood, and juniper. And our base notes are vanilla, um, Peru balsam, and cashmere. Projection, medium. I'm gonna say medium. This is not gonna like fill the room or anything. This is like a nice come closer fragrance that you'll smell and it's just beautiful. I would say medium, five. And then our projection, I'm sorry, our longevity, it needs to be reapplied often so it's less than that. It's probably like a four. Um, but yeah, this is a woody, vanilla, balsamic, warm, spicy, amber, powdery, um, nutty and musky. I really like this one, as you can see, but lately I've been gravitating towards other things, but this one is absolutely stunning. So if you like, and, and the interesting thing is that it doesn't smell like a fire, like you know how you have like a, a campfire, a, a beach fire, what a bonfire, have you? It smells like that, but like in a good way, like um, cozy, warm, like smoky, but like a good smoky. So it's beautiful. I like this one very much. Um, okay, the next one was a blind buy, but I had heard a little bit about it and I was like, hmm, I'm so curious about this one. And this is called um, Majd Al Sultan. This is um, a Middle Eastern fragrance and it comes from the house of Azdaf. And look at this incredible bottle that you get. It's like velour feeling. It's like soft and fuzzy. This fragrance is insane this is a showstopper um so yeah this is like 100 milliliters i purchased this on ebay for 35 dollars um so it's kind of hard to find so yeah if this was an ebay fragrance that i purchased um this is a masculine it's it says that it's for men but i find it to be unisex i feel like it smells beautiful on women just as well as men so perfect um so yeah this is 
Your top notes are smoke and tobacco. So, ooh. And your heart notes are myrrh and incense and peppers and saffron. So I definitely, I smell a lot of incense. I love incense, like, ooh, all, all of it. Um, okay, and our base notes are resins, amber, fir, and cedar. So projection, this is beast mode, full, fill the room, showstopper, 10 for 10 for a projection, 10 for 10 for longevity. So a very good option. If you're looking for a stronger fragrance, it's perfect for winter. Um, this one is described as amber, woody, spicy, um, fresh, spicy, balsamic tobacco aromatic and sweet it doesn't smell sweet to me though but it definitely leans more towards the masculine side but i do feel like it smells beautiful on women as well so yeah that's a nice option for 35 dollars. i mean come on that's not bad okay the next one that we're just gonna discuss here real quick this one um was let's see one of this is one of my favorites actually and i'm wearing it today as a matter of fact so this is um by Chopard, which is an Italian designer, and it's called Love. And this one is beautiful. This was a blind purchase for me, so I really didn't know how it smelled. I just was like, hmm, let's give it a go. And I purchased this for about $90 on Amazon. And this is a deep, dark, woody rose. Um, it's sweet, but it's dark, and she's beautiful. Let me tell you, this is not unisex. This is more feminine. Um, a lot of rose, it hits you with rose on all levels you're going to get rose and multiple different kinds of roses which is the unique thing rose on the top rose in the heart and rose in the base but the interesting thing about this one because rose to me a lot of time can remind me of like my grandmother and she's wonderful very much but i'm not about that tea rose vibe if you know what i'm talking about like this is a different type of um rose this is gorgeous beautiful like deep sexy it's just it's stunning and um yeah it doesn't smell like your typical rose that i'm sure you're thinking of so because i don't really like rosy fragrances either but this one does something different so anyway um this came out in 2020 and it's like described as an am amber floral so our top notes are going to be damask rose tafe rose i think i'm saying that correctly and cinnamon and also pink pepper violet and mandarin orange. Our heart notes are Bulgarian rose, we have Moroccan rose, we have jasmine sambac, and orange blossom. Yes, and our base is going to be Turkish rose, patchouli, honey, cacao, sandalwood, vanilla, and cedar. So yeah, tonka bean and brown sugar, so there's more. But yeah, this one's not oody or anything like that. This is just beautiful, uh, spicy, sweet dark rose and I really like this one so it's described as rose warm spicy woody sweet floral we have powdery vanilla patchouli cinnamon and honey so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm feeling all of those so yeah I like that one a lot $90 Amazon and I think that's a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle let's find out I believe it is yeah you get 3.4 fluid ounces so and it lasts a long time projection for this guy 10 longevity 10 Love it. Oh, that could have been quite bad, but lucky for me, I'm okay. Anyway, <laughs> I got tile floors over here, so I'm not trying to break anything. Okay, we're going to talk about, let's see, we've done, we're going to do one more, and I think that should be good. Okay, the next one that I want to talk about is a newer purchase that I got. This was a blind buy. I purchased it on Amazon. This is by the House of Latafa, and the fragrance is called Ajwad. Um, this one I paid about $30 for two ounces and this I was just intrigued by the bottle I thought it was so beautiful. I'm like it's got to smell good and um, yeah, this one is This is one you could wear in summer or winter or spring or fall It's it's fruity so you could get away with it for like summer. So it's a little bit more light, but it's a heavy hitter There's a lot of oud a lot of spice a lot of fruit So it's got it's doing a lot and it's doing everything that it should it's beautiful um, our top notes, it just says fruity notes. So I smell um, definitely orange blossom and jasmine. Like those are the two things that really hit me. Maybe some vanilla, but definitely orange blossom and jasmine. I feel like it's heavy on the orange blossom and jasmine. Okay, and our heart notes are gonna be rose and jasmine. And our base notes are musk, amber, vanilla, and cedar. However, I feel like, it should have agarwood in it because it smells like oud, but 
it's not listing agarwood as a base or in any of the notes, which I find strange because I don't really smell cedar. So anyway, but um, that's that. Projection, 10 for 10, super strong, amazing green. You only need a couple squirts. It's going to last you all day. So the longevity is great too. Also 10 for 10. This is fruity, musky, sweet, powdery, amber, rose, vanilla, white, floral, um, woody, and floral. Highly recommend. So anyway, this is just a few of the ones that I, I really like. So this is part one. So you'll have to stay tuned for part two if you enjoyed this one. And I want to thank you again for watching. And I hope that this was informative and helpful if you're in the market or you're just thinking about some winter fragrances or just want to try something new. So because these are all a little bit unique. And um, that's what I like about like my collection. I, I tend to do things a little different. So but anyway, I thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you have a fabulous day. And yeah. Take care. Come back. I'll see you soon. Bye.